we're going to again create three circles from a triangle. Each circle will be the circumcircle of two vertices of the original triangle and its orthocenter. And we're going to show that the orthocenter of the original triangle is the circumcenter of the new triangle formed by the centers of these three centers of these three circles. Uh, so here we go. Let's start with the original triangle. And I'm going to use my typical opening gambit of um, specify the lengths of the sides. And I'll create the orthocenter, uh, create two of the altitudes, and intersect those two. Now I'm going to create three circumcircles. There's going to be one. And here's another. And here's another. And what the theorem is saying is at this point, um, F is the circumcenter of the circle through GH I. Oh, the circumcenter of the triangle GH I, i.e. is the center of the circle through GH I. Um, so let's just draw that circle. So it's saying that F is the center of this. Well, if that is true, all three of these circles, this one, this one, this one, go through F. These are the centers of those circles. Um, so basically what we're saying is that these circles all have the same radius. And that's what the theorem asking us to show. So let's just uh, find out. Let's take one of them. Now let's just take a look at that. Uh, we can tell just from that expression that they all have the same radius. Well, well how? Um, well, that expression is symmetric in A, B, and C. See the top line, we've got A times B times C. And the bottom line, we've got a plus square of a plus b plus c, but we've also got all combinations of um, a plus b minus c, a minus b plus c, minus a plus b plus c. So if we were to swap, say, a and b here, we would end up with the same expression. And that's exactly what we do um, if we look at the other two radii. Uh, radius of this circle. Let me see, is it identical? And radius of this circle. And for that matter, what is the radius of the circumcircle? It looks suspiciously similar. Yeah, that one's taking a little bit more work than that. Doesn't look like that was going to work out for us. Now here's where we can see uh, my second gambit. If I'm not getting something worked out um, when I put the lengths in, let me reconstrain this triangle um, in terms of 
I lost the circle because I had that selected. Let me just let me uh, reconstrain the original in terms of coordinates. Make point A zero zero. Point C B zero. Now, of course, the, the no, A zero. Now, of course, this is not the same A as we had before. And make point B, uh, B, C. And they're certainly not the same B and C as we had before. Uh, so I've got a somewhat, I've got a different way of constraining it. This can sometimes give me um, a, a nicer result. Uh, so there, in this case, is the radius of the original circle of the, the one of the original um, circumcircles and then I want the radius of this one here. And we see in terms of these coordinates, um, these two circles um, have in fact the same radius. Not only that, if we create the circumcircle of the original triangle that uh, we can see um, that this also has the same radius. So a lot of triangles are on the same radius. A lot of circles are on the same radius, sorry. <laughs> 